Jamie, you are such a trooper. The girl calls me last night. She says, I, I don't think I can come on. I have a sty. I said, you're a comedian. Who cares if you have a sty? Am I right? Yeah, yeah. I don't see but it. your son-in-law, yeah, son Al, who's a physician's <clears throat> associate, yeah. told me to put a, bake, a hot baked potato on my eye. So I'm like, Mr. Potato Head all night. I'm so <laughs> missing, sitting there. And I, I was like, Al, I only have a sweet potato. He laughed in my face. <laughs> <laughs> so the sweet potato worked? Well, the, the potato retains heat. So, Ooh. like, when you have a compress, you use a potato. Oh. Then you have a lovely meal, and then you're done. <laughs> <laughs> so I was, I watched the first uh, episode of Curb Your Enthusiasm. Yeah. You have to watch it. It was hilarious. <laughs> I mean, she's so funny. She's so funny. funny. <laughs> Uh, you know, I want her to come and run my home remodel, which was a disaster. <laughs> I just had my floors done the other day. Thank God I didn't have to do that with the guy. <laughs> I got it right. But, but, you, but Larry, in this episode, he's a guy. He hates Happy New Year. I, I'm like that. Yeah. When is the cutoff point to say Happy New Year? Larry says three days. Three days. I go along strict. with that. I, I say uh, ten. Yeah. But now, if people say Happy New Year, now it's uh, June. It's June. Happy exactly. New Year. Exactly. Shut it's up. A, it's through January. Why? All right, never mind. Go ahead. Well, is that a rule? <laughs> is that a hard and fast rule, no, Sunny? No, but it's, it's through January. You're nicer than I am. <laughs> but we knew that. Well, Susie, <laughs> you and Joy have been friends for decades. I think yeah. everyone knows that. Um, and you came up on the comedy circuit with Larry David as well. And people, like, I'm a huge fan of career enthusiasm. My whole family is. I think you know that. Yeah. And, um, you know, I think when you watch the show, you think he's like a curmudgeon. And now he's playing Bernie Sanders on SNL. Right. <laughs> so um, when you think back on the early days, of coming up with Joy and him, what do you think about, and what is he like in person? You know, what I remember, Joy, yeah. is we, Joy and I used to hang out at the bar at Catch a Rising Star, because he were always hanging out at the bar waiting to go on, and Larry would just regale us with all his horrible dating stories. Remember that? <laughs> and they were yeah. funny and tragic, and those all became George storylines. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. The George Costanza yeah. storylines. Yeah. yeah, and he would just one tragedy after another. Yeah. Just constant. <laughs> and then we would all go run in the room when he was on. On yeah. Because you never knew what was going to happen when he was on stage. He was always going to, you know, if one person looked at their watch, he was, that's it, I'm, I'm leaving. And he'd storm <laughs> off the stage, and we all, like, loved to watch it. And nobody <laughs> died as well as he did. He died. He died on stage. That's a phrase. He didn't really die. Yeah. yeah. What, what do you mean he died? Well, he, 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 well. he wouldn't Bomb. get laughs, because they didn't get it. The audience was like, They would just stare at him. His material was brilliant. It was But they would just stare at him. But watching him not do well was a, the comedians all he'd loved do material it. On, <laughs> he'd do material on Joseph Mengele, the the, fa the Nazi. Oh, God. Yeah. You know, and they yeah. were like, "Who's Joseph Mengele?" You know, or, or Jonas Salk. Oh, Jonas Salk. Yeah. Very so esoteric. So it was just sitting in between you two. I wish you, the two of you were riffing together on TV at some point. <laughs> yeah. You know, you you two should have a show. That's true. Maybe someday Joy we'll have says, a podcast. Um, Joy says yeah. that she doesn't want to do. That you know, the stand up anymore, yeah. that it's changed, that the politics has changed yeah. the ability to do comedy. How do you feel about I it? I totally agree with her. We've had this discussion what? many, many <laughs> times. Yeah. When we first start, if for many, many years, comedy, you know, you'd be in these dark, dirty comedy clubs, smoky at the time. Yeah. Mm. We inhaled so much second Three smoke. drunks. And nobody had <laughs> phones, and nobody had Twitter. Right. And you could say whatever, you could push the envelope, you could explore, you could go too far and then feel that little feeling up your spine and pull yourself back and, you know, create create something that was edgy. And you can't do that anymore. No. Hmm. You just can't. It's all politically it's correct. It's boring now. It's, it's boring. boring. I don't it's like boring. it. And if you say something that somebody doesn't like, although Curb is extremely politically incorrect, mm -hmm. and Larry yeah. could care less. But that's HBO. Bill oh, yeah. Maher is also, uh, uh, but, he's, th those people are out of the loop. But that's, that's my question, because Curb Your Enthusiasm is in his 10th season, right. which is remarkable, right? And the episode uh, dives right in with these hilarious jokes, but they're kind of cringeworthy because they talk about the Harvey Weinstein yeah. stuff, and um, there's a MAGA <laughs> hat storyline. Yeah, yeah. um, do you ever worry about pushing it too far? Well, uh, it's not my, you know, that, it's, it yeah, would be it, Larry who would, I just do whatever he tells me to. Right. But is there, <laughs> so there's no such thing on Curb But Larry does not, I don't think he worries about it at all. I, mm -hmm. I don't think he's, he's an equal opportunity offender. Yeah. You know, he offends everybody. Yeah. Um, and I think he enjoys that. I think yeah. he lives to offend. And I think if he, he feels as though if somebody's alienated by his political stance or whatever, <laughs> Alienate away. But I think it's perfectly always happy. been that. Yeah, I think if you're not offending somebody, you're not being funny in some way. You, mm. What are we, jugglers? 